Hi, my name is Jesus Ramirez. In this video, you're going to learn how to make a movie poster with Adobe Spark. When you complete the project, remember to submit your original movie poster to Project 1324 for a chance to win a prize. To design your movie poster, you can use Adobe Spark, a free design tool that you can access at spark.adobe.com. Start by clicking on the blue plus icon. You can create your movie poster with any of these templates. Look for templates that have the look and feel that you want. If you do not find a template that you like, you can scroll to the bottom of the page and click on Create a Graphic. Then click on Featured and scroll down to see more templates. If you find a template that you like, but it's in landscape mode, no worries, that's okay. You can select the template and under the Resize options, you can select Poster. Adobe Spark will automatically resize your template and its contents to fit within the new image size. Start by customizing the image. Click on your template's image to select it. In the menu that appears above the image, you will have the option to delete the image and replace the image with free stock photos. Use the search bar on the top right to find the perfect image for your movie poster. I will use the keywords action, floating, to find the action shots with people floating in midair. You can use any image that you like. I'm going to select this image of a skateboarder floating in midair. Adobe Spark will replace the image in your design and you can start customizing it. If you want to use your own image in the design, you can click on the plus icon, then select photo. But in this project, we will only work with the free stock photo. Next, we're going to style the image by using filters. You can select any of the filters to apply a color effect. Notice the shuffle button that appears when I hover over a filter. Click on it to get different effects based on that filter. If I scroll down and select Colorize, you will see a color applied to the image. The color palette in your design determines the colors in the Colorize option. If you click off to the side, you will unselect the image and you can click on Colors. And from here, you can see the color palette in your design. You can click on a different color palette to apply it and notice how Adobe Spark updates the design. I'm going to click Undo to restore my original color palette. Select the background image, then choose Multiply and click on the Shuffle button several times to find the best shuffle for this option. This one looks pretty good. Next, we can work on the movie title. If you click on the text layer, the Properties panel gives you more options and you also get these control handles around the text box. To resize the text, you can click and drag on the corner handles or you can use the size slider to increase or decrease the text size. To edit the text, double click on the text box and in the new window, type your movie title. A good movie title is intriguing and provocative. Usually shorter is better. For this example, I'm going to use Project 1324. Then I'll click on Done. You can also change the font family by clicking on the drop down menu and selecting a different font. The font that I want to use for this example is Gaussian script. Then I'll resize the text with the size slider and then I'll place it into position. In case that you can't think of a style or design idea, you can let Adobe Spark do all the hard work. With a text layer selected, click on the style button, then click and drag to rotate around the circle and see other design combinations. I'm happy with the style that I had before, so I will undo the changes, but this option is available for you in case you need it. Next, we will add a movie tagline, which is a great way to add a descriptor to your movie. Click on the Add button and select Text. I'll press Control V, Command V on the Mac to paste a tagline that I previously copied. Then press Done. The same style is applied by default. From the Effects tab, you can click on None to remove the style. Then, click on the Type Options, and from the Font Family drop-down, select Proxima Nova Regular. And I'm going to reshape the box so that the entire tagline fits in one line. Then I'll place the text box right above the movie title and use the arrow keys on the keyboard to fine-tune the position. Then, click on Color and make the text white. The text seems a little too big, so I'm going to click on Type. I'll use the size slider to reduce the text size. Now that the movie poster is coming together, it looks like we need to enlarge the image to take advantage of the negative space. 
Click on the image, then drag the scale slider to the right to make it larger, and then you can click and drag on the image to reposition it. When you're designing your movie poster, look at your image and see how you can use the negative space to place your movie title and other design elements. Remember to keep in mind legibility and contrast. The text and all other design elements should always complement the background image instead of competing for your viewer's attention. In this case, the movie title and the tagline will fit great in between the skateboard and the reflection below it. So I will move both to that area. In a movie poster, you may want to include the actor's names. Click on Add and then select Text. I'll type a generic name for my actor and I'll click on Done. If the two lines of text are too close to each other, then use the line spacing slider to separate them. Then I'll click and drag on the corner handles to resize the text, and I'll use the up arrow key to move the text up. If you hold shift, the text box moves in higher increments. Then hold shift and tap on the left arrow key to move the text box to the left. Then click on the duplicate icon and move the text box to the center of the poster by using the arrow keys on the keyboard. Repeat this process to create a third text box and move it to the far right. Now we're going to work on adding a design element to this poster. I'm going to click on Add and select Icon. Adobe Spark has thousands of icons that you can use in your designs. You can search by keyword. For example, I'll type Lightning Bolt. Then from the results, click on the icon that best works for your movie poster. By default, the icon will appear in the center of your design, and you can use the corner handles to resize it. If you need to change the color, you can click on the Color tab and select a different color. In this case, I'll use white. Then I'm going to click on Icon and change the order, which will allow me to place the lightning bolt behind the movie title. Notice that as I drag the Order slider to the left, the text jumps in front of the lightning bolt icon. You can then use the opacity slider to blend the lightning bolt with the background image. Keep in mind that you can create an endless amount of design elements by combining text and icons. For example, you can create film festival award logos. Let me show you how to do that. Click on add and then select icon. In the search bar, type olive branch. This icon will work. I'll click on it to place it in my design. I can scale it down by clicking and dragging on the corner handles. Then I'll use the arrow keys on the keyboard to place it into position. To save some time, I'm going to click on the actor's name and click on duplicate. I'll then use the arrow keys on the keyboard to bring the text box down and place it next to the olive branch icon. You can click on the edit button to change the text. I'll change the text to film festival. Then I'll fine tune the position further with the arrow keys on the keyboard. Select the olive branch and click on the duplicate button. Then click on flip horizontal and move the second olive branch to the opposite side. You can repeat the same process to create a second film festival award if you like. When you're done with your movie poster, you can click on the download button to download an image into your computer, or you can click on share and use these options to share your design. Go ahead and give this tutorial a try and design your own movie poster. Remember to keep in mind legibility and contrast. Use the negative space in your image to determine how to place the text and other design elements within your movie poster. Also, don't forget to submit your work to Project 1324 for a chance to win a prize. Once again, my name is Jesus Ramirez. Thank you so much for watching.